Hello and welcome back once again to Viking Whiskey. Today I'm tasting a 12-year-old Highland Park from the Single Cast series. This one was bottled exclusively for Sweden, uh, bottled at 60%. Uh, details are on the screen right here. All right, here we are. There's some furniture polish. There's uh, some leather. There's dry fruits, bit of raisin. Some figs and dates. Mm -hmm. There's a little honey also. Very light tobacco leaves. Very vague hint of something smoky. And some seawater. Just a little bit. A bit of hay also. Mm. All right, let's see how it tastes. The alcohol bite is quite sharp. Mm. It's actually really quite aggressive. Mm. I know it's sixty percent, but I drink a lot of whiskey as this drink, and this is uh, this is really sharp. It got some pepper, um, also some some sweetness coming on, a sort of a cane sugar sweetness. a little bit of of this more molasses sort of sweetness some light smoky notes there is this dried hay again it's plenty of barley and it's really quite dry on the first impression there's this oaky dryness hmm Second chew brings more toffee notes, um, but it's getting drier still. Um, getting plenty of uh, of dried fruits out here. Raisins are pretty clear. Sweet at dates also. There's some fig jam and clear tobacco leaves. Mm. So this this dry and sort of of older flavors, along with these kind of sweet 
dried fruits. It's it's a fairly nice mix. And still just a little bit of smoke there. Mm. That should bring something more um, perfumed. I'm almost going to say some a fragrant olive oil, along with some dried herbs. But I have to say, this alcohol is is. Um, is really aggressive through and through. I'm starting to go numb on the lips, which is has never happened before, I think. <laughs> mm. Wow. Uh, it's a shame I don't review adding water here. <laughs> on the finish, you're left with um, light peppery warmth. Some toffee, some of these dried fruits, light, very light smoke, light tobacco leaves. Everything is getting very light here. But still, this burning sensation on the lips, which is really odd. <laughs> mm. So rating this guy. The nose is uh, not bad, but it's not amazing either. It's an 85. <clears throat> Taste wise, it's also not bad, but um, the alcohol is too aggressive um, and the flavors don't really get beyond the point of being just fairly interesting. Balance of structure is, is all right, but, but that, uh, that alcohol is, is really too, uh, too aggressive. Um, so taste-wise, 82. Finish is not, is not bad. You're left with a decent composition and uh, it's nice and warm and lasts for, uh, for what seems like a fairly long time. So finish is an 86. So average here, I'm going to go and say, is 84. It's really interesting to see now this is the second of these 12-year-old single cask that I've reviewed. Uh, the other one, I believe, uh, ended up on an average of 93. <laughs> uh, it was one of the best whiskies I've had in many years. This one is very average. Um, not good, not bad, and really not something you would run out and get a bottle of. I did get a bottle of the other one, <laughs> and I look, really look forward to drinking at this. I'm not going to get a bottle of this one. All right, thanks very much for watching this. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.